demand for food, the demand for water, and the demand for energy are all increasing quite substantially. If you just look out to 2030, which is only two dec decades away, you're talking about something of the order of 50% more energy required, 30 to 40% more available fresh water, and somewhere between 40 and 50% more food. Now that is an enormous challenge as if climate change didn't exist. But in fact, over the same period out to 2030, climate change is happening. So the interaction um, between climate change, food, water, and energy security is absolutely critical. And we would make an enormous error if we actually tried to deal with one without ignoring and ignore the other. A billion people are hungry, definitely. We can quarrel about the definition of, hung of hungry, but it, we know what we mean. It's people who are in dire poverty who are going to bed genuinely hungry at night. There's another billion people who are suffering from malnutrition or um, in some degree. Those are, that's two billion people out of a world population of six and a half billion who are actually being failed by the food system at the moment. And in addition, the food system is really not sustainable. Um, what is happening is it's getting big subsidies of fossil fuels. It is over-exploiting water. It is, it is using land in, an un, in unacceptable ways. People have looked at food security. People have looked at climate change. There are different institutions that deal with them, but I think few have posed the question about food security in the context of both mitigating and adapting to climate change, which is the focus of this commission. I'm there not as a representative of the United Kingdom, I'm there as John Beddington. Um, all the other commissioners who are coming in, albeit enormously expert in their field, are not coming in as representatives of their government. So it is arguably independent from government. Um, so you have got um, 10 or 11 very, very able people who understand the business, who are actually coming in there and giving their personal views and trying to take it forward. So I think it has the real potential to address it. Now, what they can't do is anything particularly original in the sense there is a lot of work in both these areas that have been done. What I think the Commission needs to do is to synthesize what work to understand, as it were, a consensus about some of the problems and some of the scientific, both scientific and institutional and those involving social science and politics. It needs to synthesize those views into a way that you could say this is pretty much what the, commu the, the community has worked in this area believe. <laughs> <laughs>